Huh? Hi! You're here early, Blueberry. Where's Huck? We're supposed to go to the post office together. Still waiting for a letter from Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine? I really hope they want to buy Huck's in my mystery story. I was sure it would come two days ago. <gasps> but it didn't. <laughs> then I was sure it would come yesterday. But it didn't. So I'm positive it will come today. In fact, I believe I'll go down to the post office now. I just can't wait here any longer. It's too exciting! Come on, Scouty! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Anybody here? Oh! Blueberry! <laughs> you startled me. I was looking for my special delivery stamp. Oh, what can I do for you? Did a letter come for me, J.D. Bug? Hmm, blueberry, blueberry. <laughs> Silly me, I forgot. There was a letter for you. Was? It's on the way to your bookstore. Special delivery. On its way to... You're delivering it to... Come on, Scouty! <gasps> Excuse me. Wait! Come back! Wait! Don't you have a letter for me? Special delivery? <laughs> what is it, Scouty? We have to catch that postal bee! Oh! The letter's been delivered! Thank you, Scouty. You knew where it was all along. It's from Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. This is it, Scouty. Cross your fingers. I mean, toes! We regret to inform you that your mystery story is not, not what Berry Bitty Mysteries, Mysteries Magazine is looking for at this time. Oh. oh, Blueberry, I am so, so sorry. The worst thing is that Huckleberry was counting on the help it would bring his home for homeless dogs. He so needed to sell that story. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what a show off. <gasps> Pupcake hmm? just gave me an idea. How to raise funds for Huckleberry's dog shelter. He did? We'll hold a dog show. We'll invite folks from Berry Bitty Dale and Acorn Acres and all the neighboring towns. It could be a big hit, don't you think? Yeah! Want to be in a dog show, Scouty? <laughs> but what do you show in a dog show? Oh, it's easy. All you do is walk the dogs around on leashes for all to admire. And would fashions be allowed? Well, sure, I guess. Why not? I mean, I'm not saying, you know, everyone has to have them. Just wondering if I could, I mean, you all know Chiffon never goes anywhere not dressed for the occasion. <laughs> of course. Anyone who wants to can have fashions or not. They'll be optional. Excellent. <gasps> Chiffon, want to be in a dog show? <laughs> but a dog show must need doggy hairstyles, right? Sure, but only if you want. It's optional. I mean, grooming is nice, but not all dogs are hairstyle dogs. Well, of course. I wouldn't want to force a hairstyle on anyone it wouldn't work for. Hannah, this is going to be a sensation. You'll look like a star. <gasps> Just walk them in a circle? Certainly we can do better than that. What do you have in mind? Just, you know, train them to do some special moves. Well, I guess it could be an optional thing, but that would look rather disorganized. I mean, if we're gonna have a really fabulous show, we should definitely have all the dogs doing more than just walking. Hmm. Hmm? Just some simple moves, nothing too complicated. Simple moves? Oh, um, okay, fine with me. Marmalade. We can come up with a little doggy dance step, can't we? Oh, Huckleberry, I'm sorry about our story. It's my fault. You wanted to write it in a more original way, and I pushed to make it like a Patty Persimmon mystery. <sighs> 
don't worry. We'll submit our new mystery soon as we settle on an idea. That's the spirit. We can work on it as soon as we finish training. Training? For what? Strawberry decided we're going to have a big dog show to raise funds for your home for pets. Blueberry, that's fantastic. Wow, you girls are terrific. What do you think of that, Tom Tom? <laughs> Another rejected idea? Oh, so sorry, Bosley. I didn't see you there. I need a brainstorm. I'm all out of mystery ideas. Wait, I got it. The mystery of the disappearing mystery ideas. <laughs> <laughs> if you would welcome a suggestion, I've always liked the advice, write what you know. Not a bad idea. But is there anything mysterious going on in our quiet, normal lives? How about the mystery of where in the world did the floor go? <laughs> okay, write what we know. Oh, I know this spot where my pet mobile got stuck. Not sure if there's anything mysterious about that, though. <laughs> it was for the barricades, remember? That's right. They thought my seven dogs were a monster with seven noses. Hey, that would work. I've got it. A monster is terrorizing the berry patch. It has seven noses. And it slobbers all over. At night, it creeps into Berry Bitty City looking for victims. Stealth Sleuth, Stan and Stacy. <laughs> I mean, Stan and Stacy. <laughs> Stan and Skathy, the stealth sloops. I mean, stealth sloops. Uh, never mind. Too much of a tongue twister. Gus and Betty? Kaylee and Kyle. On the case. That's it! Kaylee and Kyle on the mystery of the slobbering snuffler. I like it! supposed to be practicing for the show. <laughs> it's not playtime. This is very serious. <laughs> now let go. <laughs> you silly. Come back with that. Story time, Blueberry. Oh, what are you reading today? A very big vacation. Yay! <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. I'm sorry you missed story time. Blueberry read us a very big vacation. I'll tell you the story. And so Strawberry and her friends decided to go on a very big vacation. So everyone in Berry Berry City packed and left. It was real dark in the berry patch. But Kaylee and Kyle were on the case. They were going to get to the bottom of this monster mystery. 
when out of the bushes came a horrible sound. <gasps> Just like the legend warned. First, you hear the noise. Then you feel the heat of the rancid breath of seven noses. Then... The slobbering of seven tongues. <laughs> its teeth were long and glistened in the moonlight. Beady eyes and 14 flaring nostrils. There is no escape from this monster in the berry patch. M monster in the berry patch? Why did we ever decide to visit Berry Bitty City? I thought you said it was peaceful here. Welcome to Berry Bitty City and the Marketplace Cafe. Would you like a table? No thanks. Lost your appetite. Huh? Can't get out of here fast enough. Do you know they have a monster in Berry Bitty City? It has seven noses and seven teeth and long tongues that glisten in the moonlight. I heard that the whole town is packing up and evacuating. My word, it's worse than we thought. Better steer clear of Berry Bitty City. That's it. You've got it. Looking good, Marmalade. Oh, hi, Huck. Hi, Blueberry. What you got there? We're mailing our new mystery story to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. Good for you. Good luck. Thanks. <gasps> oh! Uh, J.D. Bug, did you ever find your special delivery stamp? It's a mystery. It has completely disappeared. <clears throat> Pardon me, but, uh, is this it? It is! Where was it? Uh... Around. Uh, J.D. Bug, we have a package that needs that stamp. Oh! Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine! <laughs> Chin up. Let's strut our stuff. <laughs> that sweater is so style. So chicish. Oh, so you. <laughs> Okay, Scouty, let's see what you can do. Good boy. That's it. Now, how to get you to do the same thing without using the doggy biscuits? Hmm, a mystery indeed. Whoa, where are you going? Wait, slow down! Ouch! Where are you going? Whoa! Help! Whoa! Wait, I think if I go under and if you go over... Ouch! Hold on, Scouty! Stop pulling! Sorry, excuse me. What's going yeah. on? Oh, hi, Huck. Take a look at your competition. <laughs> wow. Plum and Pitter Patch are really advanced. I thought we'd just walk in a circle. We'll just have to practice harder. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. And hop, hop, hop. <gasps> Fantastic! Now, the rollover. That's it. That's not a rollover. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Come on, Chiffon. You can do it. Huh? Oh, no. You're scared. Oh, poor Chiffon. This just isn't going to work. Okay, here we go, Cinepop. Forget the walking in a circle plan. We've got a new strategy. You begin here and jump over this one, and then keep going over the next jump, and it's fun, see? Okay, showtime. Step lively. Hey! <laughs> I said showtime.
time, not dig time. This will not win any ribbons. Cherry! What happened to you? Where's Cinnapuff? At Lemons, having a bath. Turns out she's more interested in digging than show jumping. Show jumping? Who said anything about show jumping? Ah, uh, you'll see. At show rehearsal this afternoon. Our first rehearsal! Wow, nobody looks very excited. <sighs> For our next story, how about the mystery of who stole the bun out of the dog show? Shall I go first? Why not? Um, aren't you supposed to have a leash? Pitter Patch doesn't need one. He's so well trained. Waterworks? Who decided that? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? Oh, I'll get you guys. <laughs> How I'm gonna fix your hair. Such behavior. Rehearsal is not playtime. So embarrassing. And I bragged how Pitter Patch didn't need a leash. What a fool I made of myself. <laughs> Come on, admit it. We all had a very fun time. It was a great mud fight. I guess I forgot it was supposed to be a dog show and not a plum show. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think it's time to let dogs be dogs and Plum be Plum. Plum be Plum. I, I mean, me be Plum. I mean, Plum be me? I mean, what do you mean? I was thinking, let's have an opening dance number in the dog show and you solo in it. After all, you are the star dancer. Really? I could be the star? And so the rest of us could just walk in a circle? Exactly. And how about we lose the water sprays? Oh, that's a very good idea, Strawberry. Great job! The dog show is going to be a smashing success. Look, Strawberry, huh? I made these fabulous, fantastic, chic hats. The dogs are supposed to keep those on during the show? <laughs> no, they're for us. Oh, for us! That's very nice, Raspberry. Girls! Oh, this is terrible! What's going on, Orange? I haven't sold one ticket. What? I don't think one person from out of town is coming to our show. We sent out flyers, didn't we? We did. I gave them to Jittybug. Well, what about everyone from town? Oh, my. When Blueberry gave me all those flyers and asked me to mail them to everyone out of town, I... I... Oh, my. I forgot to mail them to everyone in town. So, no one, no one in Fairy Pity City but we, us, knows there's even a... I mean, nobody even knows there's a dog show? Do you think we have time to sell tickets to everyone in Fairy Pity City? Not if all the Berrykins already left for the Berry Big Berrykin <gasps> picnic. <laughs> Well, did they? Did they? What? Did the Berrykins all go on a picnic? They <laughs> did. Oh. Well, we can't have a dog show with no one to, you know, show to. What will we tell Huckleberry? The show was supposed to raise funds for his home for homeless pets. <sighs> um, I can't imagine what happened. Not one ticket sold. Neither can I. It's a... Mystery! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hello? Yes, this is Blueberry speaking. What? Mr. Toad Simmons? You're the editor of Berry Pity Mysteries? Uh, that's great! Really? As I said, I'm thrilled with the fresh and new voice of this mystery. And such a clever setting. A dog show. However did you come up with it? So inspired. I love it. You do? 
I have to say, that first submission of yours, well, it reminded me of a Patty Persimmon mystery. And I've so been there, read that. Uh, so I'm over the moon to find something so original. We'll publish it next month. Well, that is, if you are still willing to sell it. Yes! I can't believe we did it! <laughs> we Great did it job, together, Huck! Dance? You look so serious. I just got a brainstorm. Kaylee and Kyle and the ballet slipper thief. No! I can't go on. My ballet slipper, it's been stolen. Help me. Don't worry, ma'am. Swan Lake will not be your swan song, Kyle. And Kaylee are on the case. I love it. <laughs> dessert for your picnic. What happened to the boat? Whoever used it last didn't tie it up. How can we get it back? Very good picnic. Somebody forgot their phone, Strawberry. Here. Huh? I know who this belongs to. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a far, far, far away land, and she was. Oh. 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 oh excuse me. Here. Let me help you out. Sorry. Yours? No. Mine? Mine. And the prince married the princess, and they live happily ever after. <sighs> there. Finished it. Just in time for Blueberry's Book Club. Oh, here, Plum. Huh? Oh, thanks. I forgot where I left that. In the boat. Oh, yeah. That was it. I've been so busy practicing for my dance recital, I'd forget my hair if it wasn't attached. It, it is attached, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. The boat drifted away, though. Maybe you forgot to tie it up. N no, I tied it up. Maybe you forgot to use two knots? One knot, two knots. Not that it matters. <laughs> well, it mattered to the Berrykins. They had to get the boat back from the middle of the lake. Uh, just saying, you know, two knots is the rule. Whose rule? I do not recall. 
<laughs> well, lemons. It's her boat. Well, maybe it's a silly rule. But don't tell her I said so. I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Plum. What you mailing? <laughs> Invitations to my dance recital. <laughs> Great. H hey, I'm, I'm getting one, aren't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? Got him! <sighs> <sighs> Thanks, J.D. Bug. Wow! There must be enough letters here for... for... For everyone who lives in Berry Bitty City and every last Berrykin in Berry Grove. Uh-huh. Wow! They all need to go out right away. Could you please stamp them extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery? <gasps> I... I get to use my extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery stamp? <laughs> They'll be delivered faster than you can say! Extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery! Thanks! An invitation to Plum's dance recital! Wow! Oh, wow! 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 What? Is something wrong, Miss Shortcake? The date of Plum's dance recital. She's holding it here at the Cafe Cabaret stage, which is fine. Except that I think the date she invited us for is already taken. Oh, no. Blueberry signed up for that very date. Wait a minute. Plum didn't sign up at all. Oh, must be some mistake. She knows the rule about signing up. Everybody does. Strawberry! Oh, hello, Mr. Longfeet. Hello, Miss Muffin. Strawberry, did you give Plum my cafe cabaret night? The baby Berrykins are going to be so disappointed. I'm supposed to read their favorite story to them. I did not give her your night. Plum must have forgotten to sign up, or, or to check if the date was taken, or... <sighs> it's all right. She'll have to reschedule her dance recital. But, but she already sent all the invitations. Oh, poor Plum. I know. I feel badly. But fair is fair, and you followed the rules. And she didn't. Don't worry. I'll explain it to her. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you, Strawberry. I don't envy you having to tell Plum. I don't envy me either. Somebody's going to be very disappointed. <laughs> Do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, did you get my invitation? Um, yes. That's just it. The day you invited everyone, the cabaret stage is taken already. <clears throat> Why? Well, you never signed up for it. But, okay, so I'll sign up now. It's too late. Blueberry reserved it weeks ago to read to the baby Berrykins. Oh, no. Could she switch it to another date? It's not her. It's the rules for the cafe. It's my rules. Well, can't we just change the rules this time? She could read to the Baby Berrykins any night. That's not the point. She followed the rule, so it wouldn't be fair for her to have to move her night. Oh, but all those invitations! I made them myself, by hand! I'm sorry, Plum. I'll help you redo your invitations if you'd like. No, that's all right. I'll do them myself. Well... I'm really sorry, Plum. I'm here to help if you need me. Did you see Plum's new dance recital invitation? <laughs> I think it's the best joke she's ever played. Oh, boy. I haven't checked my mail yet. What does it say? She moved the date of the recital and the place. Now it's in her dance studio, not Strawberry's Cafe. And she says there are new rules for entering the studio. Listen. To gain admission to dance studio, please, one, wear a yellow hat, two, knock three times, and three, guess the secret password. 
Oh no, that plum, what a jokester. Um, I don't think she's joking. Of course she is. Isn't she? She's mad about my sign-up sheet rule at the cafe. But that's a rule that makes sense. Wear a hat and knock three times? That's just nonsense. Yoo-hoo! Miss Pudding! The door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. <clears throat> Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid... Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all Where's Plum? She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberries for book club. Uh huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The password. It's guess. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the dots. What? Oh, Strawberry! It's you! You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair. If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, Lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call <laughs> Mr. Longface, Sir Highness Longface, before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. <laughs> I know, I know. I think Plum's rules are silly, too. Holding a grudge does not do anyone any good. But I think you're making things worse by holding a grudge, too. Besides, rules should be for everybody. It's not fair that you just make Plum follow your rules. Oh, that is a good point, Miss Shortcake. 
excellent point. Okay, Strawberry. I understand. Me too. Oh, I'm glad. More tea? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Strawberry. <laughs> wearing green hats. We gotta. Lemon's new rules. Oh, really? Wonderful shot, Sir Highness Longface. <laughs> Ooh, I, I thank you. Oh, too bad. Yes, it's your turn again, Sir Highness Longface. <sighs> That's my ball, Sir Highness Longface. Oh, my mistake, Sir Highness. I, I mean, uh, oh, uh, this doesn't work playing miniature golf against oneself. Oh, uh, hi. Orange, <laughs> are you going to come try on your new shirt? It's ready. I don't think so. It's too hard hopping from dot to dot. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, bye then. Hi, Blueberry. Are you coming for your manicure this week? You haven't rescheduled. Sorry, Lemon. My lips are still sore from whistling at my pedicure. Think I better wait till next week. Okay. Uh, no problem. <sighs> Strawberry? Hi, it's Lemon. I'm having a special on facial scrubs today, and, um, well, what I'm trying to say is, you don't have to whistle. Oh, you were right. Our acting like plum doesn't solve anything. Thanks, Lemon. I'm glad to hear you say so. I'll see you soon. Oh, those smell heavenly. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lemon. She's decided to get rid of her silly new rules. So have I, Miss Shortcake. Too much trouble for everyone. No one comes to play mini bitty golf anymore. Now, if only Plum would get rid of hers. <laughs> oh, Plum, you don't have to stand on the dots. I. I, I don't? No, I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are Blueberry and Strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well, to be honest, yes. I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats, no knocking, no password. I'm in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know that I'm waving all my dance studio rules tonight. So please come to my recital. <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, J.D. Bug. Need some help? Almost there. We're going to break this up into bags of nut mix. Aren't they cute? Raspberry made them. She made my dress for my recital tonight. Uh, oh! oh um, <laughs> that's nice. Uh, gee. I wanted to let you know that for one night, and one night only, I'm waving my dance studio rules. So I'm hoping you'll both change your minds and come to my show tonight. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> Me too. And please enjoy some refreshments outside. Yay, you were wonderful, Plum. 
And what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you. Raspberry did a great job. Ah! What's wrong? My dance floor. Oh, there are little holes in it. It's ruined. Jadybug! Yes, Plum? Stop! Don't move! Your shoes! <gasps> what is it? I'm afraid your heels made little puncture marks in Plum's dance floor. Oh, goodness. I feel terrible. But everyone knows my rule about footwear in my studio. No heels! It was my first and oldest rule. But you told us you were waiving all your studio rules tonight. I... Well, I thought that meant the shoe rule, too. <sighs> I am so very sorry. I just didn't think about why you had that rule. But now I see why it was needed. Oh, Plum. What can I do? I'll help you refinish your floor, Plum. You will? Certainly. Me too, Plum. Thank you, J.D. Bug. Don't feel bad. It's my own fault. I didn't make it clear about the rules. Strawberry, you'd... you'd help me? After I've been acting so foolish and holding a grudge and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one, and I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will. Don't forget to use two knots. <laughs> we would not want the boat to get loose. And it is Lemon's rule. And it's a good one. It sure is. It won't drift away again now. Most certainly not. <laughs> delivery for Barrick and Bruce. Oh, he's on a break. We'll take it. Oh, great. Thanks. Oh, oh, oh my <laughs> Wow. It's from Barry Big City Motor Parts. Oh, bouncing berries. This is what the boss has been waiting for. The new hydraulic juicer rinser for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, let's oh, reach on here. Well, Let's get to work. We'll have Cherry Jam on our way home before you can say goodbye. Oh, I didn't realize how much we're gonna miss her. <laughs> 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 It's the boss! Excuse me! Oh, you! Wish I'd never laid eyes on you. Wait! I got it! That gadget we got? We just didn't get it. Get it? Got it! What was that? Uh, what was what? <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, just Barry and Byron installing a new set of lug nuts. Very large lug nuts. <laughs> Watch out! Oh. <laughs> I lost again! Oh. You've lost three games in a row. We've heard of being a good sport, but this is extreme. Raspberry, is there something else you might be so giggly about? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, just... Okay, so... Last night, right after the talent show, something very unbelievable, well, incredible, um, and uh, just great happened. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. Here's my car, darling. 
Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Wow. <gasps> yep. <laughs> Here's your card. Raspberry, that's great! <gasps> yes! Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh, well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited, nervous. I, because what if it's, if it's not, what if she says, who? Raspberry, the dog trainer? Oh, dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well, darling, are you sitting down? Because, congratulations, we're hiring you to make 6,000 dresses for the annual Berry Big City Firefly Convention. <laughs> that you don't know that's what would happen and you won't know till you call yeah well maybe later i can wait well we can't but our our game <laughs> the game can wait she might make you a fashion star think of the fame the fortune the fans oh uh hello yes this is Raspberry Tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, you do? Me? Yes! Uh, well, I guess... Yes! <gasps> well, tell us! What? Oh, she... Uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate... Right away, and talk about... Yes? Yes? Starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gowns. <laughs> oh, Jerry, you have to help me. Tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and... Oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed. Oh, come yeah. on. Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh, hello, Berrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? Uh, what part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh, yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Berry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Strawberry, which one's dressy enough for Berry Big City? Uh, we should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm, what's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know. And you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both. Better to be prepared. Good luck! Wow, Raspberry! Have fun! I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck! Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you... Do you know what...
Which hair scent do you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! We'll see you in a few days! <laughs> Crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. <laughs> Plum's turn. Fumble and poison berries. <laughs> I ripped my dress. <laughs> 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 Raspberry will sew that up in. Oh, that's right. She's not here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me my own design studio. <gasps> my own staff? <gasps> I'm coming back tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, girls! I mean... <laughs> Step aside! Make way for the future fashion star of Very Big City, the fabulous ra -ra Raspberry! Oh. She eats up the fashion scene! Oh dear, I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look. It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, Raspberry. Love that show. What a Welcome to Berry Bitty City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blood Scarlet Cummerbunds. Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends and... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll. Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. Um, what was that? If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Pinched, pleated Paisley, you poor dear. However did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Ba -ba -da. Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But... But this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. Mavis feels need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, shoo, shoo. Ra, 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 raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry, we're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh. <laughs> 
No. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. And no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to... Rawr. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Uh, wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No guava? guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. This will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Cherry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Cherry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time We know you gotta go and live your dream We've been together for so long You not here will feel so wrong But time goes on and we have our memories Without you, the sun won't shine as bright. Without you, things won't seem just right. We'll be so blue when you moved away. Without you, nothing will be the same. Without you, we won't feel complete. Without you, there's a missing piece. It's so said she needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. And I miss the raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, Sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! I'm worried for her. You know, 
the stars shine much brighter here than in Barry Big City. Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, uh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me. Uh, hiya, Raspberry. Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Oh, Rice. <laughs> That's where we're going. Oh, the Berry Bitty City Boat Race. I can't believe they didn't remind me. Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Oh, wait, if it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the Berry Big City Yacht Club. <laughs> Raspberry, glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party? Oh, oh I don't know. Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party for you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure. Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out! Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> How could you do this to Mavis, Maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going-away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind. I wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home.